do aspects, tenses, and voice confuse your learning in English? Worry no more. We have your back. English has never been easy with your learning squad. Propelled with the core values of excellence, integrity, innovation, service, and compassion, the Itulai High School English Program aims to support distance learning and to promote the attainment of communicative and cultural competence through fostering a learner-centered, child-friendly, gender-sensitive, globally aware, and encouraging remediation sessions following the most essential learning competencies. Here is your learning squad. For English 7, you have mentor tutor Trace from SDO Pasik and Menti tutor Arnel from SDO Pasik. For English 8, you have mentor tutor Rubelin from SDO Lapu Lapu City and Menti tutor Joveth from SDO Butuan City. For English 9, you have mentor tutor Chester from SDO Batangas Province and Menti tutor Ellie from SDO Camarina Sewer. And for English 10, we have Mentor Tutor Jedi from SDO Lapu Lapu City and Mentor Tutor Renim from SDO Lapu Lapu City. Truly, we are excited to begin another fun-filled school year with you. See you at Eat the Life! Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulai, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, all alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tarana! Hello, hello, hello! A jovial afternoon, grade 8 learners, parents, teachers, and guardians all over the Philippines. From Ampayon National High School, SDO Butuan City, I am Tutor Jovi, guiding bright minds to be English proficient ready. At nagsasabing, pag dinagdaga ng learning, nagiging mas magaling. Kumusta tayong lahat? It's a beautiful Tuesday because Tuesday is Choose English Day. Now, everyone, welcome to our Dapat Itulay online tutorial for English 8. And now, viewers, you may hit a heart reaction and you may also hit the share button so that we can share our online tutorial session this afternoon to a lot of friends in our Facebook accounts. All right. So, we are now in our English 8 online tutorial session for Tuesday at 2.20 to 3 p.m. With me is Tutor Rubelin from SDO Lapu-Lapu City. But sad to say, unfortunately, Tutor Rubelin is very uh, is very uh, busy at the moment because she is attending to a very important matter. Okay, but... Rest assured that she will be with us next week for our online tutorial, okay? So before I go to our session today, I would just like to inform everyone that we, we can watch this session at DepEd EdTech Unit or DepEd Tayo and DepEd Educational Technology Unit or DepEd TV in their YouTube channel. Ayan, there you go. I hope that everyone is ready. And before we proceed, I will make a special shout out to um let me see good afternoon watching from ampayo national high school jasmine paula salinas ayan what about the others let me see if you are here okay 
Yes, we also have here greetings from Sen Senator Renato Campaniero Cayetano Memorial Science and Technology High School, Taguig City. Wow, we are going, we are going really national. <laughs> All right. And we also have here Maricel Sebastian, who is watching right now. Very good. I hope everyone is ready because we prepared something very exciting for all of you. All right. Before we'll go to the highlight of our session today, as we all know, last week we just celebrated the National Family Week, and that is a week long celebration. And it's with the theme Building Families building forever families okay and here in Dep Ed Itulay you and I are family so welcome to Dep Ed Itulay family everyone you are all part of our endeavors here in Dep Ed Itulay and of course I know you celebrated your family week with your family and just want you to know that every day is family day ayan all right so, learners, here are the lists of our topics for eight weeks, good for one quarter. And we, are, we were done already with topic one, noting context clues. Topic two, using conventions in citing sources. And we are now in the third week, and that is all about using modals properly. Okay, I guess... You are all excited. I am so excited too. Okay. And I guess also our viewers are very excited, such as Sarah, Michelle, Maricel. Of course, Tutor Gwenny is also excited. All right. So let's get the ball rolling. Okay. So um, we would like to acknowledge, of course, this was one of our lessons last time, right? That we need to remember. We need to acknowledge the sources where we got our ideas from. So we would like to give a special shout out and special appreciation to the two um, divisions for our module references for our lesson this afternoon. Thank you so much, Pivot 4A of Calabarzon. And of course, thank you so much, SDO Butuan City, for allowing us to use your modules. All right. Hey, so start this with a game. I know every one of you is really excited, okay? Of course, in every lesson, let's have a review to test whether you truly remembered our lesson last time, okay? And this is what you're going to do. Complete the diagram by providing the missing information. Choose your answers from the box. So we have here the following words or phrases. We have here citation, parenthetical, plagiarism, narrative, and in-text citation, and cite. Okay? So please remember these six words because you will be using these six words as you answer the, our diagram or as you complete our diagram. Okay, let me see. So get ready with your fingers and <laughs> let us see if you can type well and you can type that fast for us to, for you to answer, for you to give me the correct answers. All right, okay, let's begin. Okay. So I have here a diagram that summarizes the learnings we had last time about in-text citation. Okay, let's have number one. Okay, it's blank there. So please provide for the missing information. It is a form of documentation which tells readers that certain idea in your work came from another source. All right, so what is the answer? Let me see the answers from... <laughs> Okay, number one, it is a form of documentation which tells readers that certain idea in your work came from another source. Okay, what do you think is the answer? All right, while our viewers, our learners are typing their answers, so I just want to say hi to Kathlia, Sarah, Jay, and Genevieve. Welcome to our online tutorial. Okay, number one. Okay, I guess Jay has an answer. Do you have an answer, Jay? <laughs> okay, it is a form of documentation which tells readers that certain idea in your work came from another source. Okay, what do you think is the answer? Okay, thank you so much, Zenmar. It's 
Citation. Very good. Okay, citation is a form of documentation or um, referencing. Okay. Let's have number two. It is the referencing of the source that you include in the body of your work. Okay. It is the referencing, okay, of the source that you include in the body of your work. What is that? Okay. So shout out to Zenmar Luminaria Zendive. Good afternoon, ma'am. Shout out from Bayugan City. It's Tutor Zen. Oh, hello, Tutor Zen from Agusan del Sur. Oh, yeah, from Bayugan City. Yes. All right. Okay, Mary Ann answered. <laughs> Side. Zanmar answered in text citation. Let us see. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, you're right. It's in text citation. Amazing. You truly remembered our lesson last time. Let's go now to the next one. Next. What are the two types of in text citation? None. Okay. You can write or you can type directly three and four. What are the two types of in-text citation? It can be interchanged. It doesn't matter as long as you can type the two correct answers or the two types of in-text citation. Okay. Go, 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 Janelle, Marniel, Kig Tag School, and Ryan Jake Saliva. What are the two types of in-text citation? Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. I guess we can already we can already check now the answers of our viewers. Okay. All right. Miss Elsa Perpuse. Okay. All right. She answered. What's her answer? <laughs> okay. Let me see. Keep coming. Okay, so we have here from Tutor Zenmar, parenthetical citation. Okay, let us let us find out later, Tutor Zen, if your answer is correct. What about the other one? Okay, let me see. Keep coming. Keep your answers coming. <laughs> Na excited ako today because um everyone is really excited and everyone is really looking forward to this. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let us see. Okay, so the correct answers are okay. Parenthetical citation and narrative citation. Ang galing. Okay. And let's go now to the last one. What are the important reasons for citing sources? First, it gives credit to the author. Second, it provides more information about the source. And third, it shows writer's credibility. And the fourth one, it prevents. Man. What does citation prevent? What does it prevent? It prevents us from committing blank. <laughs> Ayan. Hello, Pochuter Glenny. Okay. What do we avoid when we do citation? Okay, according to Janela Jacob Domingo, okay, it's, yes, you are right. Wow, congratulations, Janela. You got it right. It's plagiarism. Wow. So it's, it's now time to check well, who got the perfect score, who got five over five. Comment now your scores in our comment section. Let me see who got five over five. Ayan, there you go. Keep coming, keep your scores coming. Oh, Mary Ann, yes, he answered plagiarism. Richel also answered plagiarism. Wow, Katleya Soriana also answered plagiarism. Plagiarism, rather. Henelisa Naive answered plagiarism. Yes, you are right. Your answers are all correct. Now, who got five over five? Let's see. Just type your scores in our comment section. <laughs> Four over five or three over five. Okay. Wow, Mary Ann got three over five. Wow. Kathleya, what about you, Kathleya? What about you, Ma'am Elza? <laughs> Okay, but don't worry. We still have a lot more activities. Ryan got three over five. Wow. 
I di kasi gan 2 over 5. That's okay. Because I know babawi kayo sa susunod na activities natin. Okay? So that was all about our previous lesson about citation. Okay? This time, let's write next if the in-text citation used in each item is correct and if it is incorrect. Are you ready? Let's have number one. Ascamba and Sexon of 2017 suggested. Is this in-text citation correct? Nux or nye? Okay, let's see. Ascamba and Sexon of 2017 suggested. Okay, is it nux or nye? Okay. Let's see. Hmm. So you have to be very careful learners, okay? By looking at the convention used in item number one. Okay, according to Mary Ann, it's next. According to Ryan Jake, it's next. Jasmine, next. Okay, let's see. Yes, you are right. It's Nux. Wow, it's correct. So as Kamba and Sexon, because of the convention that for um Parenthetical or narrative citation. For narrative citation, we use or we enclose to the year in parentheses. Very good. Number two. Dugan et al. of 2007. Okay. This is a parenthetical citation, right? Found probably at the end or most likely at the end of each paragraph or sentence. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Mary Ann. Number two, Dugan et al. of 2007. Let's see. Okay, so again, you have to be very careful. Number two, Nax. According to Kim Nelly, Nax. Janella Acob, Nax. Jasmine, Nax. Okay, let's find out if it's a Nax. Oh, it's a Nax. Why? Because this item number two misses a comma after the period of et al. Et al means and others. Ayan. Okay, bawi tayo. Number three. The Department of Education, or Dep Ed of 2020, explained. So this time, the author is an organization. Okay. Is it a nax or a nye? <laughs> Nakakatuwa naman yung nax at saka nye. Yes, the Department of Education or DEP Ed 2020 explains, so according to Jane Flores Alarsha, Nax. According to Marniel Nyek. Okay. It's okay, Ryan. Don't be sad. <laughs> Alam ko magaling ka naman. <laughs> according to Janelle, it's a Nax. Let's find out. Yes, it's a Nax. Congratulations. You got it all correct. Number four. Bilyaza 2020 demonstrates an example. Is it a nox or a nyek? Ayan, let's see. Okay. For number four, don't forget to write the number, learners. Okay, so that teacher Jovi or tutor Jovi can see whether you are um you are in the right item. Okay, or you're answering the right item. Okay, number four is Nick, according to Mary Ann. To Bobby Carpio, it's the Nux. According to Ryan Jake, it's a Nick. Okay, Jane Flores, it's a Nick. Let's find out again. <laughs> Ala. Dun, ta -da -dun, ta -dun. Okay, it's a Nick. Bakit? Because the year needs to be enclosed in parentheses. And the last number. Number five. Pagkaliwagan. Kama, 1999, comma. Page 225. Is it a nax or a nyek? Okay. Don't forget to write number five, okay? Don't forget to include the number. Yeah, number five. But ito, Victor Valdespina. Okay, according to Ryan Jake, five nax. Yan. <laughs> according to Marniel, it's a nyek. And Jasmine, it's a nyek. Let's see. It's a nox because pagkaliwagan, comma, the year 1999, comma, and page, and then period, and 225. 
Very good. Now who got five over five? Okay. Who got five over five? Or four over five? <laughs> okay. It's a Nox from Victor Valdez Pina. That's correct. From Gig Dog School, it's a Nox. That's correct. And Hinilisa Nox. Okay. Wow, from Mary Ann Hufancha, four over five. Congratulations. Uh huh. Keep coming. Three over five, four over five, Katleya Suryana. Okay, thank you so much, viewers, and thank you so much, learners. All right. So, welcome now to our quarter one, week three topic. And we will be talking a very important lesson today, and that is all about using models properly. Okay. I know you have encountered models already, okay? And these are our objectives that we need to attain at the end of our tutorial session. So during our tutorial, you will be able to, first, identify the different types of models, two, analyze the varying purposes of models, three, appreciate models by using them in meaningful utterances, and fourth, write a paragraph using models, Yes. Everyone is ready? Okay, so before we go to our to the discussion of our new topic, I have here something. Do you know how to play this? <laughs> so I have here numbers inside. And it's a Filipino game. It's a Filipino board game, card game. And then the numbers are, are put inside a container and then we need to shake it. So what do you think? Is this game? <laughs> and of course, we also use these cards. Okay, have you played this one? Let me see. Have you played this, viewers? Okay. So according to Katley, it's bingo. Wow. Okay. Yes. So today we will be playing bingo. Okay. With a twist, of course, because this time <laughs> you will be the one to pick out the numbers. Are you ready? Okay. Hulangan natin. <laughs> yes, according to Katle, it's bingo. Ayan. This is what you're going to do. Using the bingo card in our next um, slide, list down the number that bears the skill or thing you can do. Okay. So using the bingo card, just list down, or maybe you can just check, or you can just count if you wish to. List down or just count the number that bears the skill or thing you can do. Okay? So this is now our sample bingo card. With it are the things that you can or maybe you cannot do, or maybe um, you're not that good at but you can do it you're not that good at okay but you, you can you can also consider that you, you can do it all right now pick or count okay from 1 to 25 okay the things that you can do <laughs> natatawa si ryan jake kasi Maybe you're thinking we will, we will be doing really the real bingo, Ryan J. <laughs> it's a bingo with a twist. <laughs> okay. How many of uh, the things, how many of the things here that you can do, learners? Can you do all the 25 <laughs> things here? Okay. Please type your uh, answer in our comment section. Okay. Mm, can I only do 10 things here? Can I only do five? Can I do all 25? <laughs> okay, so Victor said no. Mm. So how many, Kuya? How many can you do here? You can just type it. 25, 20, 24, 21, 10, 15, 16, 17. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, you can type it now. Got 25. Okay, so before 
Okay, before we'll we'll check the answers of our viewers, we'd just like to give shout out to our school principal of Ampaya National High School, Dr. Juarez L. T. Carlos, and our SDS of Butuan City, Dr. Marilu B. Dadumo. Hi also to my colleagues and uh, fellow teachers in Ampaya National High School and all teachers all over Butuan City. Yan, and all over the Philippines. Hello, po. Katleya 18. I know, Katleya, you can do the TikTok dance challenge. <laughs> Alam ko yan. Henny Lisa, 11. Oh, Katleya said 17. Jane Flores, 10. Mary Ann Hufansha, 21. Ayan. Okay. So, guys, it's okay. Kasi hindi naman lahat anang nagagawa nyo nasa bingo card na ito. So, don't don't feel na you cannot do things, okay? <laughs> Marniel, 16. Okay, hello also. Um, and Danny Evelyn, Jasmine, 15. Okay. Ayaw magsabi ni Ma Maricel Sebastian nakazip yung mouth niya. <laughs> Mary Ann, only one. Ryan Jake, 21. Okay. Let's see. Okay? So, guys, just like what Tutor Joby said, it doesn't mean that you are not capable or you are not that talented because you cannot do these things. Eh, meron din naman kayong nagagawa na hindi nakasali sa bingo card na ito, di ba? Okay. Now, here are the corresponding descriptions of the accumulated scores. Okay? For 21 to 24... Wow, you are highly talented or skillful kasi marami kang nagagawa. For 16 to 20, talented pa rin at saka skillful. 11 to 15, moderately talented or skillful. 6 to 10, becoming talented and skillful. And 1 to 5, needs practice. Okay, so congratulations to those who are highly talented and to those who are still becoming. I know, pupunta din kayo dyan sa 21 to 24 kasi lahat tayo ay may uh, kakaibang or very unique. Each one of us has very unique talent or skill, right? That's why I will ask you if you see that special um, slot in the bingo card which tells what else can you do. Kasi sabi ni Tutor Jovi, di ba? Hindi lahat ng, ng nagagawa nyo nandyan sa bingo card. I know that there are skills or talents you have which are not included here in the bingo card. But you can type in our comment section, what else can you do which is not mentioned here in our bingo card? Ayan. <laughs> Okay. Wow, we have here a grade 3 learner from Nara SSES Bulacan. Welcome po, Bianca. Wow, as early as a third grade. I know. She wants to learn models. Okay. Wow, Ryan, Jake can do 21 things. Wow, you are highly talented. So, now, viewers, learners, what else can you do? Remember this special? Special plot in the middle of this bingo card <laughs> from Darwin John Roa. He said, "Sleeping, I can sleep. I can sleep. <laughs> Isn't it a special talent? Yeah. What about you, Tutor RM? Alam ko special talent yung Tutor RM. Nagbumulay task ito kahit madaling ginagawa. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Yes, okay. From France in Panalangin. Hello from Santa Lucia National High School, SDO Bulacan. Okay. What can you do? What about you, Mary Ann? <laughs> oh, Mary Ann Asidilio can. Okay. Can cut or can trim um, or can style hair. Yan. I can make examinations while listening to Itulai sessions. Wow. <laughs> Ma'am, nakakatuwa po kayo. Ma'am Mary Ann Hufansha. Galing. Okay. Okay. I can climb according to Victor Valdespina. Very good. Marniel, I can take care of my younger brother. That's so sweet of you. Ryan, Jake, I can play online games. <laughs> wow. 
yes, I I do believe that. I do believe in you. <laughs> okay. Wow. So, ang dami kong natutunan sa inyo. You can you can make examinations. And I, I guess Ma Marianne is a teacher. <laughs> okay. You can sleep. You can take care of your younger brother. You can play online games. Wow, ang daming ang daming skill na natutunan ninyo. So congratulations. Okay? So notice everyone how the sentences are constructed here. We have here I can. Okay? Meaning the ability to do something. Good. Okay? So congratulations, Mary Ann. I can concierge share while watching t- while watching our online tutorial. Wow, that's good. Okay? So, marami tayong nanunood na nagtatrabaho ngayon. Right? So, they are not only learners. They are not um, they are not only schooling, but th- those viewers are also um, workers. Wow! Ang galing! Very good! Keep going and keep keep it up. Okay? Right? So we have here another activity since we talked about the things that you can do. Now, guys, remember Miss Pipito and um, Miss Pipito and Jose. Okay. So we had them last time, right? When when Jose uh, submitted his output copied from the internet. Okay. And I know you can give advice. So let's have this situation. Miss Pipito has returned the output to Jose. So remember, she gave him pieces of advice. Realizing the mistake from what he did, Jose felt embarrassed. Jose opened up his problem to his friends. They too expressed their opinions. Okay. Now, I know all our viewers can give advice to our friends, our loved ones, or family members who who are having a problem or a challenge in life, okay? So, this time, we'll have another activity. Write A if the statement is acceptable and NA if it is not acceptable, okay? So, just write A and NA, right? Okay, first, you can get information from various websites and acknowledge the author by writing the sources used. Is it an A? or an A. Okay. Hello, special shout out to Ivy Acevedo. Hello, happy watching. Okay, is it an A? Please type your answers. All right. Okay, it's A. Congratulations. Okay. What about number two? Ayan. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, number two, are you ready? Please don't forget to type your answers or to, not, to type the number, okay? Number two, where are we? Ayan, nakita nyo na tuloy. It is important to cite the sources of information that you will use, that you used in your essay because it will give credit to the author. It's an A, acceptable. Number three, in writing in-text citations, one should use appropriate punctuations. Okay, let's find out. Yes, it's a letter A. You're right. It's acceptable. You should use appropriate punctuations. Okay. And four and five are the opinions given by Jose's friends. And according to one of his friends, he said, you ought to apologize to our teacher, Miss Pipito. Okay. Is it an A or an A? Okay. Number four, right? You ought to apologize to our teacher, Miss Pipito. Okay, so according to Marniel, number four, it's letter A. Okay, let's see. Yes, you are right. It's acceptable. Okay, let's go to number five. Next time, I bet Miss Pipito would not check whether we copy ideas or not. Hmm. So according to one of his friends, next time, I bet Miss Pipito would not check whether we copy ideas or not. Okay. The answer? Oh, it's not acceptable. Okay, so when uh, when we committed mistake, we should not we should not do it again, right? Okay, even though whether your teacher would check or would not check your output. Okay, 
Yan. But I know the teachers would really check outputs from students. Okay. So you got five over five. Okay, congratulations to Victor, Katleya, said N.A. Yes, you are right. Okay, it's nice. Okay, so, so you noticed that we have advices here. Now, got learners, we also have advices from a movie. We also have advices that we can get from a movie. Do you know Squid Game? <laughs> Do you know this? Yes, this is an invitation from the Squid Game movie, okay? And we can learn a lot from it. So here are the following opinions or statements that we can get from the movie Squid Game. And this is from your noble advisor, Ness Noble. So shout out po, Mr. Ness Noble, for allowing us to use your posts in social media about the Squid Game life and money lessons, okay? Thank you so much, Sir Ness. I know you are watching. The first one, okay? So learners, I know you might say that, teacher, these are very serious topic. Do not underestimate yourself because as much as possible, as early as now, you should be financially literate individuals and youngsters so that you can prepare for yourself in the future. Okay, so let's have the first one. Prepare for your retirement. You shouldn't have to tirelessly work for a living on your golden days. Okay, so... So remember, this is Gihon's mom, and then Gihon's mom was sick, and then and then Gihon said we have insurance, but Gihon forgot that the insurance was stopped already, and they didn't continue. Okay, mm. so prepare for your retirement. Next, avoid gambling. So kanina we had bingo, but it wasn't a, it wasn't gambling, okay? Because it was bingo with a twist. <laughs> okay, avoid gambling or not doing it at all. It can be a major cause of your financial downfall. Okay? So, alam ko yung ibang, ibang grade 8 learners, nag-ML, tapos gambling, in a, in a, uh, in a, yung parang, they gamble um, money or whatever it is during the game. Next, you remember this game when Gihon was invited? If the offer is too good to be true, it probably is. So it could be potentially dangerous because it's too good to be true, right? And we, if we want money, we need to work hard for it. It can be red flags for scams. And next, you can be very good in school. Remember Sangwoo? You can be very good in school because the community or the town thought that she, he is really successful because she studied in a very prestigious university. But then again, Gu, Gihun was shocked because Sang Wu was found to be um, full of debts also. Okay? Get a degree from a prestigious university and still fail after. Success in the real world depends on your character and financial decisions. Last one. I know we are a team here in Dapat Itulay. Work hard and work smart. It takes effort and brains to be more successful in life. With the right strategy, you can overcome even the tasks you thought were impossible. Okay? So even answering in your module, you thought that it's impossible. But with the right strategy, you can finish your modules. Ayan. So we have here the words can, could, shouldn't. Okay? So guys. What words are used in expressing prohibition and obligation? Tutor, what is prohibition? Prohibition means forbidding something, okay? And obligation is a commitment, a responsibility, okay? So what words are used in expressing prohibition there and obligation? Okay, let me see your answers, okay? So, while, while you are typing, special shout out po for Josephine Lumbao. Ayan, ang daming learners natin nakaka-relate. They, they all watched Squid Game. Wow! Pag pinangakuan ka na mamahalin ka habang buhay, wag kang maniwala dahil it's too good to be true. Ay, nako, nakapahugot. Nap, napahugot naman si Josephine. <laughs> but of course, there there are people who will really love you. Yes, Zen Mar shouldn't. Thank you so much, Tutor Zen. Okay, special shout out also to Mary Uni Simon Taguba of Kabatuan Isabella. Can't, should not, do not, 
Ayan, Josephine. Thank you so much, Josephine. Ang dami niya answer. From Henelisa, good. Okay, yes, you are right. So your answers are all correct. Could, can, sh should not, right? Now, what other realizations can you get from the movie Squid Game? Okay. Mm, yung nakuha ko talaga. Um, I can, I can help others and I can trust others. Okay, if they are also showing the same way to me. Mm, I can. Ayan. What about you? What other realizations can you get from the movie Squid Game? Okay, please type now your answers in our comment section. Ayan. It's a nice movie, right? Okay. Uh, I watched it uh, like for nine hours straight because I don't have enough time to to chunk it. <laughs> so, nakaka-excite every episode. Okay, hello to Lenny Lin, Tagupa Ogoy, to Katrin Cervantes. Hello. Now, what are your realizations from the movie Squid Game? So, for me, I can trust and I can help others. They're showing the same way to me. But, of course, um... When you help others, you're not asking something in return, right? But with that kind of setup or context in Squid Game, <laughs> where your life is at stake, <laughs> of course, you know, you you really need someone who can help you. Okay? So, I hope that you will learn a lot from our from the movie Squid Game. Okay? So, Learners, when we express intentions such as ability, permission, prohibition, obligation, and among others, model verbs are very helpful. Remember that model verbs are helping or auxiliary verbs that give additional function and meaning of the main verb that follows. So we have here a simple sentence. You read it. Okay. Now, Let's analyze if we try to put model verbs in each in this sentence. Let's try to find out the meaning, okay? First, you must read it. When you put the model verb must um, before the verb read, it tells us that it's your uh, responsibility, okay, to read it. You must read it, okay? It's your obligation to read it. You must read it. Okay, maybe it's a very important um, letter. Next, you may read it. Like giving a polite um, permission to somebody, you may read it. Okay? Last, you ought to read it. Okay? So in this context, maybe somebody asked you to read it. Okay? So you see, when we add model verbs in, in, in this sentence, you read it. And we added different types of models. They mean differently, okay? And they function differently, okay? So just remember model verbs in the Squid Game Edition, okay? Let's start with the first shape, okay? Permission. Because our uh, soldiers need permission from the managers, right? Okay? Second, prohibition. Because the soldiers prohibit cheating. <laughs> remember the green light, red light, that one? Okay, when you're cheating, right? You can still be, um, you cannot advance to the next game or the next part. And the last one, obligation, okay? Yes, because um, they are obliged, okay? So they're responsible for the soldiers, all right? Okay, so that's it. Remember, okay, our model verb squid game edition, permission, prohibition, and obligation. Okay, so we have here the following, can, could, may. Can you help me with this? I can do it if you want me to. To ask for and give per permission. Next, could you lend me your book? I could ask my mom to cook it. So it's a more polite way of asking permission. May I borrow your book, please? Teachers may now distribute the modules. So it's the most polite and formal way of asking or giving permission. So can, could, may function as permission. All right. Let's go to the next one. Cannot. And the contraction can't, must not, and the contraction mustn't, must not. You can't go out during the community quarantine. You can't miss any activity in the module. So deal with something against the rules, laws, and signs. You must not turn off your camera during the online quiz. All students mustn't talk all together. So deal with something that is not permitted or that is forbidden. Okay. 
So remember, cannot, can't, must not, mustn't, tells prohibition, okay? Or it tells prohibition. Of course, we have here has and have to and must. They have to be in the airport two hours before the flight. She has to submit her outputs on time. Obligation is set by an authority, right? Of course, when you're in an airport, it is obliged for the passengers to be in the airport two hours before the flight. Okay, she has to submit her outputs on time. So maybe the teacher uh, in, um, implore, implored, implored or um, implemented rather the law, okay, or the rule that we need to submit our outputs on time. Okay? You must wear your seatbelt when you drive. All people must observe physical distancing at all times. Obligation is imposed by the speaker. So has, have, to, must entails obligation, okay? Yeah. So I hope uh, everyone is uh, already um, mastered with our model verbs and their functions. Okay. So obligation, meaning it's your responsibility, your commitment. Okay. Prohibition, man, if it is an action for, for, forbidden. Okay. It's an act of forbidding something. Yeah. Okay. So I guess everyone is ready for the activity. Okay, this is just very easy. Identify the model verb used in each sentence. Okay, so everyone, you just have to type, okay? Number one, could I leave the Google Meet early? I need to go to the market. Okay, let me see. Okay, number one, could I leave the Google Meet early? I need to go to the market. What model is used in this sentence? Okay, yes, Ayan. According to Hinelisa a while ago, her realization, don't trust easily, okay? Just identify the model, okay? Could I leave the Google Meet early? According to Marnielle, could? Okay, let's see. Dun, ta -da -dun, ta -dun. Yes, Marnielle is correct. You are right. You are, your answer, could, is correct. So the model used here is could. Number two, we have to wear masks and face shields to protect ourselves. Okay? We have to wear masks and face shields to protect ourselves. What model is used here? Okay, number two. And okay, according to Marites in number one, Mamarites Negros, good. Josephine have, have to, according to Henelisa. Okay, let's find out. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, Henelisa, your answer is correct. It's have to. Let's have number three. We must not share pens when filling out the forms so we stop the spread of the virus. And we must not share pens when filling out forms. Okay. Number three, what's your answer? Keep coming. Ayan. Okay, we must not share pens. Yes, you are right with number two. Have to, have to, Kathleya. Okay. What about number Ayan, three? Must not, according to Hineliza. <laughs> according to Marian, must, must not, according to Shan Raisin Karagan. Okay. Dun, ta -da -dun, ta -da -dun. Let's see. Yes, you are right. Must not, or the contraction mustn't. Very good. Number four, tell your sister she can stay the night here. Maybe the curfew hours. Um, started already and then your sister your sister is still there and then your sister of course needs to go somewhere okay she can stay the night here okay what's the model here number four can according to josephine lumbao yes you are right josephine it's can she can stay the night here all right number five may i turn on my microphone to speak May I turn on my microphone to speak? Okay. Let's see. May I turn on my microphone to speak? Ayan. It's a polite way to ask, right? Permission to a teacher or to somebody. So according to Hineliza, it's may. According to number five, may I turn on my microphone to speak? Mary Anna Cedillo May, Francine Panalangin May. Okay. All right, let's see. 
Yes, it's me. Very good. So I know you got the correct. You got five over five, four over five. The passing score in our activity. Congratulations. Okay, I know. Babawi tayo sa susunod na activity. Let's go. This time, write a statement on the following situation using the models discussed. So I have here situations, okay? And learners, you can have varied answers for this, okay? Number one, you discover that your classmates are sending photos of their answers in your class group chat. You wish to call their attention by sending a private message to one of them. Yan. Okay? So what will you do or what will you say? Okay? You want to send a private message to one of them. Ano yung sasabihin natin sa kanila or sa kanya? Okay? Sige nga. Okay, you can type it there. <laughs> Again, we can have varied answers for this, okay? Don't worry. Okay? Okay, meron tayong mga classmates na ganito, right? Especially um, sending photos of the answers in our group chat. Okay? Or secretly sending answers in the group chat. Okay? Ano kaya sasabihin natin? Or isi-send sa, sa kanila? Okay? May... Yeah, according to Flink Kotor Delta Pukol, may... <laughs> yes, ano kaya? Ano susunod? Okay? So, I hope, learners, that you will not do the same. Okay? <laughs> you can only ask for an explanation, but not directly the answer. Okay, according to Flinko, you must not send the photos of answers in our group chat. Wow! Okay. Thank you so much, Flinko. Okay, let's find out. Okay. Thank you so much for that. It's a nice way of telling. Okay. Or, how to say, you have to, you have to stop cheating for you are not helping our classmates learn. Okay? So that's it. So you must stop cheating. Okay, that's it. Or you have to stop cheating. Okay, very good. According to just Joseph and Limpao, hi classmates, we must be honest so that we will learn. You should stop what you're doing and do the modules on your own. We can help each other anyway. We should not just copy. Wow! Kaling naman. Tagus sa puso naman yung answer ni Josephine. Number two. It up. One of the activities in your English 8 module has poor print quality, which makes it unclear. You think of asking help from your classmates to take a photo of the clear copy. How would you ask them in your group chat? <laughs> yes. Mayroon talaga mga ganon. Kasi pag, pag photocopy ng mga modules, uh, may mga modules na unclear, right? Because of its poor print quality. Mm -hmm. Nasasayahan ako sa mga answers ninyo. Ang gagaling. Okay, what about the second situation? Ayan. You want to ask a help from your classmates to take a photo of that part of that module. Now, how would you ask? Kasi you are asking a request, right? Okay. Number, okay. <laughs> yes, what about number two? Ayan. Okay, according to Ryan Jake, stop sending photos of your answer na on our group chat, group chat, okay, he or she can do it by reading his or her modules. Okay, number two, classmate, could you please take a pic of our module? My copy is not clear. Okay, wow. <laughs> May kasunod pa, pero hindi ko nalang babasahin yan, Josephine. <laughs> okay, possible answer. Hello, my English 8 quarter 1 module 3 activity 2 on page 7 is not clear. I will ask your help. Could you please? Yes, that's it. Could you please take a photo of it and send here? Thank you. Ayan. Because Filipinos are known to be very polite. Okay, very good, Josephine. <laughs> Let's go now to number 3. You have not been attending your classes because you are the one taking good care of your ailing mother. God forbids, okay? This is just a situation. Your teacher calls your attention for not submitting the outputs on time. You wish to ask for her consideration, again. So, for Tutor Jovi, you, you are asking, okay? So, according to Flinko, for number two, hi, classmates, could someone send a photo? Okay, so while waiting for the answer in number three, I'd just like to go back to the answers of some of our viewers. Could you send me a photo of the clear copy? Yes, galing. Could you please? Very good. What about number three? 
you will ask Tutor Joey for a consideration submitting your additional exercise in Itulay. <laughs> you are not able to attend classes because you are taking good care of your ailing mother. So God forbids, okay? This is only an example. <laughs> so what will you say to your teacher? I know the grade 8 learners here are very polite in asking the teacher, right? Okay. All right. Okay, let me see. Okay, I know your answers are coming. Okay, so you may also answer it this way. Okay. Ma'am, I wasn't able to submit. Of course, you have the preliminary things that you will say. So, good afternoon, ma'am. I am Hineliza Naive from grade 8 Aries. Ma'am, I'm so sorry I wasn't able to submit my performance task on time because my mother is terribly sick and I'm the one taking good care of her. May I ask for an extension of the deadline? Okay, thank you, ma'am, for your kind consideration. Yung mga ganun, right? So what about you? What is your answer? How would you ask extension from your teacher? Okay. Right. So, hello, Renaline Joy Cristobal, grade 8 Newton from LFG Diamantana National High School, Isabella. Hello po. Okay. So, that's it, right? So, you will ask. It's okay naman kasi may mga situations talaga that we are out of our control. And we're only asking the kind consideration of other, of our teachers. Okay. So, I hope you got 3 over 3. Okay. Anyway, just like what Teach Tutor Jovi said, your answers may vary here, okay? What matters the most is that you ask properly, okay? Or you use the models properly in utterances, okay? So, wow. Let's find out whether you truly um, internalized our lesson today, okay? So, this is your journal in English 8, okay? Complete the journal entry by providing the missing information. I have learned that models are helping or blank verbs. That's number one. Models give additional blank to the verb that follows. Models are very helpful in expressing intentions such as, okay, let's see, are your answers? Okay, number one, I have learned that models are helping or to answer here okay all right model gives or models give additional blank to the verb that follows okay so number one models are helping or auxiliary verbs you're right next models give additional meaning to the verb that follows and models are very helpful in expressing intentions such as, <laughs> okay, very good, Katleya. Okay, such as permission, prohibition, and obligation. Wow. So you can reflect on your journal every night, okay, so that you will um, reflect on your learning for that particular day or for our online tutorial session today. Okay, congratulations everyone for a job well done. Let's go back to our objectives if we were able to attain. Okay, so during our tutorial, were we able to check, identify the different types of models, right? Next, analyze the varying purposes of models. Yes, all right. All right. Appreciate models by using them in meaningful utterances. You're able to give correct responses to the situation a while ago. That's good. And the last one, write a paragraph using models. Yes, you're right. Good job. Okay. So this is now your additional exercise. So you may take a screenshot of this, learners. Okay. On October 5, we will celebrate Teacher's Day. Write a letter to one of your teachers using at least five models. Okay. You can take a screenshot of this one. 
Okay, and you can submit your outputs to Tutor Rubilin with this profile picture, Rubilin Cabardo Pastrano, and Tutor Jovi Jove Templado Tampil in our Facebook accounts. Okay, well done, everyone. Congratulations, you did an awesome job. You accomplished a lot today. So keep up the good work and hope to see you. And these are the references of our uh, session today. So please, okay, don't forget, every Tuesday is Choose English Day. And we are here, your tutors, Tutor Jovi and Tutor Rubilin for English 8, and all other tutors in English Junior High School for English 7 to 10. And we really look forward to seeing you in our session every Tuesday. So your voices matter to us learners. We would love to hear from you. Your feedback will be greatly appreciated. So you can take a screenshot of this QR code. Also, how are we doing as your online tutors here in Itolai? Please let us know. You can also take a screenshot of this. And we would really appreciate if you would fill out um, the important information in this feedback form. So this is how it looks. Okay, name, it's optional. School, it's optional. Region, how did you find the lesson? And the things that the tutors did during the session. Okay, yes. And which should the Itolai tutors do more? in the next session, which help you learn best. Ayan. We would really love to hear from you, okay? Oh, I love I love seeing your thank you remarks. Thank you so much. I'm, we are truly grateful to you, all right? So up next, Tutor Jester and Tutor Ellie, your tutor base for English 9. I am Tutor Jovi again. With me is Tutor Rubilin saying, guiding bright minds to be English proficient ready. At nagsasabing, pag dinagdaga ng learning, nagiging mas magaling. Okay? Keep learning, everyone. Keep safe and goodbye. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!